the hilltop village of El Fakiha has new residents these days. Like other communities here in Lebanon's Bekaa Valley, it's hosting Syrian families who fled the unrest on the other side of the mountains. Um Karim arrived here just a few weeks ago, together with her seven children. A local family offered them a single room to use. With her husband still somewhere in Syria, Um Karim is dependent on food and basic supplies that are donated by neighbors and local NGOs. We're missing a lot of things. We can manage, but this is not the life we had in Syria. We thank God, we just try to cope. The most difficult thing is the food, the bathroom, and the sleeping. The growing number of Syrians crossing the mountains into Lebanon is putting extra strain on rural communities that have little in reserve, even in normal times. Children are often left to their own devices, even though the Lebanese government has allowed them to enter local schools. Some older children, like this woman's son, are being pushed into the workplace. Here, my husband has no work. We are getting some assistance, like canned food. Some relatives provided me with furniture, but rent is very high and the house is humid. I managed to find work for my son. He earns $10 a day, which helps with the rent, but his dad is still not working. For many Syrians in Lebanon, the youngest and most vulnerable included, life has become a waiting game. As agencies like UNICEF step up their response to support them and their host communities, they are left to hope that a return home may not be as distant a prospect as it now seems.